this video we're going to be looking at how we go about finding unknown distances. So it says by to begin by trying to find any unknown forces by equating any vertical uh, forces and then choose a suitable point to take moments and then equate clockwise and anti-clockwise moments. So obviously if something is in equilibrium, your overall resultant, so your force in any direction is zero. So vertically in the vertical plane is going to be zero and the horizontal plane is going to be zero and also then if it's a rigid body and it's in equilibrium, your overall uh, moment turning effect is zero. So take moments at any point, the moment overall turning effect will be zero. Or an easier way to do it is put your clockwise equal moment equal to your anti-clockwise moment. So in this question, we're going to have to draw a diagram. So I haven't drawn this for you yet, so I will uh, be drawing this for you now. It says a a b is a uniform rod of length twenty. Four meters and a mass 11.4 kilograms it rests on two supports one at c where a to c is 5.9 meters and the other at d where d to b is 7.4 meters find how far uh, from c a mass of 8 kilograms should be placed so that the reaction at d is twice the reaction at c right a heck of a lot going on here so we've got to do a decent diagram so don't do a piddly diagram do a decent size uh, of diagram please uh, so A is my end point, so I'm going to mark on A. D, B is my other end point, mark on B. And, it, and the overall length of the thing of this rod is 24. So uh, we're going to mark uh, the, the middle of the, your rod, and the mass was 11.4 kilograms. So 11.4 g newtons is your weight, and it's and the distance of that would have been. I'm just going to mark this up here. Keep this out of the way, that would be 12 meters. Uh, I don't really want to have this marked on, this is just to help me draw this diagram well. And then next thing says it rests on two supports, one at C, where AC is 5.9. So 5.9 is pretty much halfway point between A and your middle. Uh, so that's me, your point C. I've done a wee triangle for support, and that's 5.9 meters. And if I call that reaction, P going upwards. Then also uh, there is another one, another support at D, at D where DB is 7.6. So slightly further away then from your end this time. So that's 7.4, I should have said 7.4 meters. That's your point D. And it says in the question, it says how far uh, from C, how far uh, from C a mass 8 kilograms should be placed so the reaction at D is twice the reaction at C. So the reaction at D is two times the reaction at C, so it's going to be 2P. And then this distance, I'm going to just guess where it is, and it may be wrong. I'm going to guess it's going to happen here. I'm going to call this V distance X. And then this, from here then, this point, there's going to be the weight downwards, which is going to be 8 kilograms, so 8, and the mass is 8 kilograms, so 8 G newtons. Okay, we can go about doing this. That's our diagram. That's fairly tricky to do all of that, uh, that diagram. And we will resolve vertically first of all. So the force up is 3P and the force down is going to be 11.4G uh, plus the 8. So it's going to be 19.4G, which means P works out to be uh, 9, 194 divided by 3. We could work this out, folks, at this stage, but there's no really any need. It does, if you work it out perfectly, it is 64 and two thirds, but just, I would just leave it as this, that's fine. So that's where we found our, our P. What we want to do now is then we want to take moments about C, because I wanted to find the distance, I'm looking to find this distance, remember, the distance of X, which is from P. So I, first of all, I'm gonna just say clockwise, Clockwise equals anti-clockwise. So clockwise, I've got my, um, well, I need to work calculate this wee distance. This is going to be 6.1 from C to the center is going to be 6.1 meters. So clockwise, I'm going to have 114 times 6.1. Also, I'm going to have 80. That's my 8G going downwards, and that's X away. And that equals my anti-clockwise, which is going to be 2P, and it is going to be and then again, I need to work out this uh, this distance from here to here. 
would be 4.6. So it's going to be 2p. I'm just going to say 2p times, and that would be 10.7. So that's where all of those things have come from. So tidy this all up. I've still, I'm going to leave my 80x where it is. My 2p, I'm going to have my 2p. So that's going to be 2 times whatever that was, 194 over 3. That's my p. And then that was times 10.7. And then I will take away my 114 times 6.1. All of that I would do in my calculator. And I did that and I got 80x is equal to 688.4666 dot dot dot. And then divide across by your 80. And I got 8.61 meters. And that was the two decimal places. This example it says, a seesaw is made of a uniform plank of wood, AB, of mass 20 kilograms and length 8 meters. Maggie, whose mass is 24 kilograms, sits at the end A of the seesaw, and her brother Jake, whose mass is 39 kilograms, sits on the other end B. The seesaw is supported in, in a horizontal position by a smooth pivot at point P, in, as shown below. The seesaw rests in equilibrium in a horizontal position, calculate the direction at the pivot and the distance of the pivot from the end A. You can see in this example here, I have got uh, drawn this out, I've got my A, and there's a 24 kilograms, so 24G, that's a weight. At B, there's a 39 uh, kilograms, so 24G is the weight. And the center of mass is 4 meters from each end. And so it is 20G is the mass of the, the plank. And you can see I've marked this on as X is from A. That's what we're trying to find. Okay, the first thing is really, really easy for us to do. All we're going to do is resolve vertically. So when I say resolve vertically, I'm saying forces up equal forces down. So R is only force up, and that equals 24G plus 20G plus 39G. And that's going to work out to be, so 24 plus the 20 plus the 39, that is, oops, 24 plus the 20 plus the 39, that's 83. And then multiply that by your G, which is 10, that gives you 830 newtons. We will come back to this in a second, no doubt. For the next bit, and the last bit in this video, we have to just find the distance of x. So take moments about a, and just say your clockwise is equal to your anti-clockwise moment. So that's the, the thing about moments. Your clockwise moment will always be equal to your anti-clockwise moment in the purpose of these questions. So clockwise, from a, you will have... 20g and it is four meters away you will also have that 39g and it's eight meters away and that is going to be equal to your r which you've worked out to be 830 and that's multiplied by your x so that is 20 times 10 that was your g remember times 4 plus 39 times 10 times your 8 so i've worked uh, both of those bits out on the left and I've got 3920 and that is equal to 830x so then divide that 3920 uh, divided by 830 so 3920 divided by 830 and that gives me my x so my x works out to be and it's uh, 4.72 meters and that's the 2 decimal places okay and you can see that sort of makes sense even from a diagram you can see the x looks like it is uh, greater than four uh, greater than four uh, from uh, the end a so that is us done <laughs>